yeah, it's a good yeah, day when you have yeah. a good day. It's a good day when you have a good day. It's a good day when I'm actually here to piss you off today. I'm not even going to yeah, lie. We gonna I'm going to start man. this episode off actually very spicy. Forget the intro. If you're listening to this, we're going to use this as an intro before I drop into the intro. But Cam, as I told you before we started recording, I came in here late today. Came in here late. I know. I'm about to start taxing. I know. Finding you. Start finding me, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I got something to find you with too, right? There's a reason I was late today. Okay. I had to, I had to, to sneak me. around because I had to get some stuff from the fridge. Talk to me. To help with what I wanted to do. But Cam... I have a question for you. What's that? When's the last time? Or have you ever? Have you ever had a sardine before? Shout out to my mom, man. Sardine sandwiches, man. <laughs> See, this is how I know you're not a clean, healthy eating motherfucker. Soybean. I read the first thing I see, because, you know, I'm on my health and wellness. First thing I see, soybean oil. Cam, I'm not here for the health and wellness. Bro. I'm here because I want you to eat one on live air with some hot sauce. Ingredients, sprats. What is that? I don't know. I got it from the gas station. Sprat? Bro, that's crazy. Gas station fish, bro. It's in a can. Bro, that's actually crazy. It's in a can. Nah, it's bro. <laughs> no. Yes. Come no. On. I'll do it with Hold you. On. No, I'm not. I'm not. A, let me look at the expiration date. <laughs> Best Buy September 23rd. No, I'm lying. 2028. 2028. Okay, so it's fine. All right. Beach Cliff Sardine served in soybean oil. No free shout outs. Ingredients are sprats, soybean oil, salt, natural smoke flavoring, contains sprats, soy, cancer. Um. <laughs> all right. Distributed by, it's from San Diego, so we'll give it a try. Was, dang, dude! And Kat told me to light the candle before. <laughs> hey, this is gonna. I just, yeah. Let me make sure. Sorry. Hopefully, it's not super juicy. Man, sorry. you could have at least got some saltine crackers. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying, like, what did you do, raw dog? Get completely. I got you some hot sauce from your fridge, at least. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even open it right. No god, on god, fuck. Bro, I don't even. I think I might have sold this. Hold on. <laughs> this is not going how I planned it. All I planned at the same time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also rolling my foot on this. Bro, I'm trying like, to pull this shit back. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on right now. <laughs> I definitely cut myself. Are you serious? Yeah, I should be all right though. Where? Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Them holes don't even look like you got some juices on your leg. <laughs> Bleeding on camera, juice on my leg. It hasn't even been five minutes. I guess this is what we're gonna do on today's episode of When to Say When. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Uh, I'm I'm actually not, but you know. Um, Damn, man. Yeah, bro. And I was gonna try to share in the morning. Isn't this some crazy? Isn't this a bitch, man? I know, right? All right, you've been there before, haven't you, bro? This is crazy. This shit has skin on it and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it without hot sauce first. <laughs> she caught <kind of> busting. <laughs> Are you serious? It's not nasty. <laughs> it's not good, but it's not nasty. Like I, I can eat it. I was always scared of sardines. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was always scared. It's really not that bad though. I was scared of sardines growing up. Like this is not. It's really not that bad. It's not scary. I can't even smell it. Thanks. Shout out allergy season. Go ahead, bro. It's really not that bad. Bro, just bite it. It's not that. It's really not that bad. See, it's not that bad. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. See, and here I was Like, thinking, they're a little salty, but, like, they're no, not... No, they not, are It's super not st- awful, though. Well, it's upper. Like, if you put this on a cracker with some hot sauce, it might be kind of good. A little bit of lemon squeeze right yeah, there, too. Yeah, it might ah. be. Yeah, oyster vibe. I'm shooting a version. Damn, juice is on my couch and shit. Oh, it's that kind of couch. Nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm away. They're kind of good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of going crazy. He's at his fourth wife. <laughs> Cat's gonna be like, why aren't you hungry? Oh, Steve, somebody bought some sardines over here. Them, they're kind of good, bro. They are. I'm not even I'm, gonna lie. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that they are good. Um, I did not intend for this to go this way, ladies and gentlemen. 
If you're tapping in with us, welcome to episode seven Let officially. I'm gonna wipe, wipe my leg off. Of when to say when. Okay, I was gonna go get him so cleaned up. But if you're just tapping in with us for the first time, we thank you for uh, coming by over and giving us a check, man. A lot of love. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Make sure you guys leave a like on today's episode if you enjoy any part of it. Make sure you comment, obviously. And you could comment anything, right? We'll give you a special emoji to comment with at the end of episode, like we do. Um, and in addition, make sure you. You know, subscribe, share the love, send it to one of your friends. If this made you laugh, spread the laughter. It's good to spread the laughter. If you're listening to us via audio, we appreciate you audio listeners. Make sure you're leaving five stars via review. Still working to get the platform up on other platforms, not Apple or Spotify related. Um, maybe by the time this comes out, I'll get it together. But it's just hard because I don't know who realistically listens to podcasts on like iHeartRadio and Google and Amazon. But there are people out there apparently who do so. So... You know, hey, more power to you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you guys for tapping into another beautiful episode of Wednesday. Stay When. We got a fully loaded docket, obviously started by that boy Cam. You didn't even use any hot sauce, man. I'm kind of disappointed in you. Cholula is a fire hot sauce. Yeah, I love Cholula. I don't, I don't, I think it was fun. Honestly, I think, yeah, you have to come better next time. That wasn't that bad. Honestly, honest. some people don't like fish. I know you like fish, but like sardines, yeah. are, sardines also, are a different kind of fish. I've also like had it before. I've had them before because my mom. Shout out to my mom. One of the one of the craziest struggle meals is a is a sardine sandwich. That's that sounds some mayo though. Yeah, that like it's not like that's they're kind of good. I was a tuna guy. Yeah, I'm a tuna guy too. I was a tuna guy. So we get the we get the cans of uh, what's that fish? The starlight starfish. See, blue. It's blue. You know, yeah. He has glasses. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. It's like the star kissed. Yes. No star kissed. Star kissed. Star kissed. Yes. Or is that sun kissed? No. Star star something. Star. I know. No, it's not star. Starfish. Starfish. No, tuna. it's not starfish. It's something star. Why am I dropping the ball right now, man? No, star kissed. Ah, I was star right. Star kissed tuna. Star kissed tuna. Look, shout out to all the OGs. If you know, you know, man. Mixing that with some a little bit of toasted white bread. Yes. Right. A little bit of hot sauce. Maybe squeeze a little bit of lemon mm-hmm. on there. Toast that bread just a little bit to get a nice little crunch. Y'all mm-hmm. don't. Y'all don't know. You had to make something out of nothing back in mm-hmm. those days. We have a full docket today, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, I did not know that this would... Uh, I didn't know Cam would handle it like a G. So kudos to you, Cam. Come on now. You came out the gate swinging, yeah. and I poof, I was excited. I was kind of giddy bringing that over here, because I was like... They really... Yeah, that was, they weren't that bad, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, if, like, so if I had to eat that, I wouldn't be, like, obviously thrilled, but, like, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, for sure. We can make some shit shake with that, so... No, they, they were cool, bro. You enjoyed it? Yeah, they were cool. Like, I low-key would, like... I wouldn't eat that on the regular, but I oh, wouldn't be. No. I would. I wouldn't be opposed to making a sandwich and see and seeing how that was how it went. Yeah, you know like how it ta- yeah how yeah, everything played I out. Be opposed. Which is crazy because I, you know, you don't think about it, but like that honestly is 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 a lot better than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. That went a lot more wholesomer than I mm-hmm. anticipated. And I, the cut wasn't even that bad, bro. It was just like a little stab. You know what I'm saying? You know what Aside I'm saying? from the fact you got juices squirted on you in your couch. Yeah, that's all good. It's a little that, N- that's not crazy. new for you, huh? That's okay. Crazy. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome back to another beautiful episode of When to Say When. If you're first time here, make sure you click subscribe, ring that notification bell with all notifications on, so you know anytime we drop, and you leave your lovely face in the comment section down below. We appreciate you and we thank you. A busy week this has been. We're shooting on a Tuesday. A lot of things have been going Man, on within our personal crazy, lives. Bro. So now we are adjusting to our schedules, doing what we can, how we can, when we can. Cam. Yep. How have you been? Been good, man. Just been super busy. Been busting my ass with work. Um, obviously, with Opinionated, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, so, and we got school, finishing up my units. So just got a lot going on. Um, month of April is off to a good start, but it is Q2, so... Want to you know kick off Q two with a bang? Yeah, um, for sure, absolutely. And uh, you know just keep things rolling. Uh, the year is flying by, honestly. So like, yeah, it's already April. Already April. Already about to be the summer. Like, I'm super excited to see like what we do the rest of this year. But uh, yeah, man, just you know trying to get things going and you know just trying to be consistent as possible. Yeah. In every area of my life, and you know, um, continue to uh, you know plan stuff out and have this quality time, especially as we're getting older. Like, stuff gets more serious. Yeah. Uh, you know, decisions are more serious. So really trying to be intentional with what i do and how i'm building this foundation with everyone but yeah it's been good man it's been good what about you just transition that's really it. Yeah. the biggest thing is now kind of now now that i've it's always interesting seeing what everything looks like once you get into the schedule of like producing content consistently trying to figure out from a consumer standpoint how could i make this apply more or how can i make um this better like it's always a path of growth and always a path of learning how to make adjustments but it's a lot more fun this time around than it was when i was making keep it a book and editing that and putting 
those clips out and working with you because mm-hmm. it just feels a lot more easy going, so to speak. Yeah, right. No, for sure. So it's fun because, like I said, it, it I'm not really I'm not realizing how much time has passed, but bro ball means the measure i'm not complaining i'm enjoying myself it's been it's been busy but it's been a good busy you know what i mean like uh they say the idle mind is an idle mind is the devil's playground Mm -hmm. and i don't really know whenever i'm kind of just sitting still hanging out um which isn't a bad thing you know once you've earned it and kind of once you you know you've taken care of all your responsibilities but for the most part i've been uh just chilling, bro. I have nothing to complain about. Yeah, no, for a lot sure. of this stuff, man. Speaking of it being April, mm-hmm. I think today is April the second, no? Right? Yeah, it's the second. Yesterday was April Fool's Day, which is crazy because right. you didn't you didn't text me an April Fool's joke. I was kind of waiting for you to bring a little bit of humor to my life. Man, I was so busy. I hate having to carry the so team busy. on the back. I was so busy. Cat got me multiple times, bro. Like I wasn't even like paying attention. Tuned huh? in to, to to it. You See, know, what I'm saying? that's crazy, bro. Cause that's the thing, you know. Typically, I'm the one in, in our, uh, I'm the one in our relationship that has to carry the humor on on my back. That, that's crazy. So though. it's just tough because I thought, like, on stop, the, on the funniest man. day, man, watch y'all, man, watch most recent I th- clips. I, I thought about, what? like, you know, on the Come on the funniest now. day of the entire year, you would at least bring a little bit of laughter into my life, and you disappointed no, me. No, because there's no April Fool's jokes. They're jokes. They're not fake jokes. They're <laughs> jokes. They're actual <laughs> jokes. So I'm not gonna go in there and be like, ah, April Fools. No, this is a joke. <laughs> this is real. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can't, you <laughs> So know, what are you, just entertain. all smoke 24-7? <sighs> no, not all smoke 24-7, but April Fool's is for casuals, as I like to call people. Casual? Like, how how does ca- a, ho- how's a holiday a ca- for a casual? You're a casual prankster. If you got humor all year round, you don't, you know what I'm saying? April Fool's is just another day, just like Valentine's Day. It's just another day. And what about Christmas and Halloween? Are those just other yeah, Those days? are exclusive, yeah, yeah. Shout, Th- those shout are exclusive? Shout out Christmas. I'm not a big fan of Halloween besides scary movies. Like, I don't, I can really care less for it, but. A good Halloween party never goes unnoticed. Yeah, I'm, but I'm 27 though, so like, so have some fun. Like I, See, this is why I'm the more comedic of the two because Cam is so. F- <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, I just, I'm just he can never mm-hmm. relax the shoulders a little bit, right? Shoulders Sit back, relax. right? Sit back and smile. He's over here talking about. So look at him. Look at him. Yeah, smile. You want to interview? Smiles priceless, man. You want to interview? Smiles priceless. Cam, I feel like you'd be terrible at interviews. I literally interview people. <laughs> <for real. laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, check out them off topics, man. Just drop one ten. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, shout out to the off topic. It was fire. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire. Yeah, yeah, so. Hey, man. Okay. So, obviously, I'm more, again, the lighthearted, the comedic one, the easygoing one, mm. the suave, mm-hmm. stylistic, mm-hmm. good looking, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. funnier. Mm-hmm. Mm. You might be like over oh four. But continue. <laughs> but continue. Yo, continue. 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 Dang. I'm just listening now. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. He's grilling me, bro. Do you think April Fools is like overrated or overhyped, I should say? I don't think it's overhyped, bro, because I think it's just I don't like, really think it's a holiday. Yeah. But it's like a it's like a St. Patrick's Day of holidays. Yeah, I don't think it's overhyped because like nobody's like going out for it and shit and whatnot. But nobody's th- celebrating it like an event. But I think I think it is cool with like social media and stuff, like especially us being big sports fans. Like we had a couple sports accounts like post like I thought those were cool. Like they weren't like funny, but like they were just like oh, like they were some of them were believable. The best one was the Battle of the Atlantic. That was fire. That was like, the best one. It's like damn, they really are about to do this. That but it's was like, nah, I don't that, know that, that was the best one, and it's because it was like how the presentation of it was realistic, how they approached things, how they presented it. I was like, you know what? I could actually see them doing Bro, some stuff like that. Some of it was so crazy because Steve Wolfong, uh, like the national recruiting director for two four seven, went to on three yesterday. Which is like a big deal, yeah. And, yeah. and I like was like that. That's probably April Fools, right? But it's real. Yeah, like they made videos and stuff. So I was like, that confused me because I was like, bro, this is definitely like they're doing. They're just trolling. Yeah. But then it was actually like a real move. Like so I guess real- like when real news happens on April Fools' Day, you got to take it with a light grain of salt because the Pop Tarts announced their the Pop Tart Bowl announced their in, in uh, EA College Football 2025, which they probably are. Which they probably are. But everyone's like, nah, this is April Fools' Day. I'm like, bro, that's actually an actual bowl. But the thing is, too, is probably <laughs> smart marketing on their part the, because the post their, their Pop Tart because it's like a trolley bowl. Yeah, like, we saw like the big Pop Tart yeah. and then they ate the whole Pop. It's a very oh, and like bar something like like bowl. something like that in the Duke Mayo Bowl. Yeah, those bowls would be phenomenal. Like, yeah, like for for them to be like, no, oh yeah, we're, we're in, in our dynasty, you, right? You're gonna be playing in those routinely. Who you? Who's who's you? You in the dynasty? You're gonna be like, Cam, I'm seven and five who? again in the in the pop tart bowl. Again. Who's you? I'm like, damn, bro, we over here in the CFP. I don't know who you is because my team. name is Rue. 
You understand Ruse me? Ruse going to be in there. Ruse going to be going seven and five. Ruse, Job security. Ruse be going D-minus. to be going thirteen and one. Yeah, that's crazy. To the playoffs, winning that with the Central Michigan Chippewas. Yeah, maybe. In Shout your, out to my maybe guys. Maybe in your offline dynasty. You think so? Look, <laughs> when I maybe when I hedge your dynasty. prospects out of nowhere, I no, just want you to know, bro. I, hey, they gonna they gonna go in there and be like, I want to be like, a what's trophy. Your, like, what's your nil looking like? And a be trophy. Like, uh, I got this twenty five dollar gift card to Chick Fil A, and then I also got this bag of beef jerky, and I also got. Some sardines. Yeah, see, that's crazy. You're getting Lamborghinis. I'm giving ownership stakes to the university. No, I'm giving. We're them. gonna get some. We're They're, gonna get some recruits. Our guys. Oh, this man. This man has to use equity to leverage Absolutely. his team. He's like, hey, if Absolutely. you come play for us, Absolutely. you get equity in the university. Absolutely. That's crazy. Absolutely. How do you think I'm finna still Caleb down some more? Hey, man. Look. Okay. Look. You're playing me. No NFL development over there. Uh, Besides Antonio Brown, CTESPN. Shout I don't, out to Chippewa. Uh, well, JJ Watt was technically a Central Michigan Chippewa. Oh my goodness. Hey, you know who else does was a Central? You know who else? Yes, he does. You know who no, else was doesn't. a Central Michigan Chippewa? Cooper Rush. And yeah, and where is he? Is he even on the Cowboys still? He still is on the Cowboys. He signed a two year deal after yeah, his own. They need to play over deck. But anyways, uh, anyways, yeah, I think I think uh April Fool's Day is definitely uh not an overrated holiday, but not really a holiday to me. It's just like a, it's like a gag day. It's like fun. It's like, like it's like oh, April, April Fool's. Calling like, something a gag day is sick. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like when you were a kid. Remember when you were a kid? It's like ah, oh, April Fool. Like in class, they were going crazy. People were trying to put up platinum. So it's a in children's holiday, is what you're calling it. Yeah, and it's like a fun holiday. Like it's cool to get a April Fool's joke off every now and then, especially in your email meeting where you're looking at Outlook and someone hits you via Teams and you're like. Oh yeah, did you know? Like, did you mean to send that in the t- message? And they're like, "What do you mean? Did I mean to send that?" And you're like, "No, did you mean to send that?" And then like, they're actually starting to look and stuff. And then you're just like, "Oh no, April Fool!" Like, that's nice to get someone like that. You said, know what I'm that's sick. He said, "No, I, uh, you know, I." But 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 I think it is like a gag holiday. Um, oh, I, 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 I think there's nothing to it that I would, you know, like. It's cool. It just passes. It comes and goes, bro. Like I, I think it's cool to. St- it's a cool like. Oh, it's the first of April. Like it's, it's a April novelty Day. holiday in yeah. all senses of the regard. Definitely some uh, some American holiday. Yeah, oh, without a doubt. But to me, it's like St. Patrick's Day, right? Like I'm pretty sure. I, and this could be me being completely ignorant. So if if I am, don't kill me. I feel like St. Patrick's Day in the United States, it's a joke. If they celebrate it in Ireland, it's probably to the max, and they're honoring the culture and respecting it. I just and maybe they do it at certain parts of the U.S. Right. But I just don't know, and I just don't get how you can celebrate it here, and it's just an excuse for you to wear green and get drunk and drink green drinks. Well, I have a little— And, and a shamrock shake from McDonald's. Congratulations. A quick intermission before we do our, go to our next transition and cut, but I just got on Twitter just to check, and look what just popped up on the timeline. So— if you guys can't see this, Bronny James enters a transfer portal. Uh, Steve can put up the graphic here. But basically, that just came from left field. I'm curious to see where he goes. Like, They're about to have me go full analytical Annie on him. I really have no idea where he's going to go. But that is crazy. And I feel like that's just like kind of breaking news. Like That wasn't on the docket, but like it's LeBron. Dad, I don't even know how to respond to that. It's LeBron's son. So. It, you know what I mean? Like, First of all, I'm proud to see him in the position he's in now after suffering that scary injury he did at the beginning yeah. of the season. But you got to think, where is he going to go? He's LeBron's son. He can go anywhere. He probably could. He need to go to Sagu. I'm he, sorry, Nelson I just University. Hope he goes to a school that will develop him properly. And I don't get why he went to U. I mean, maybe he went to well, USC because he went to be, home. But, bro, you got to like go to like a UCLA. You got to go to like a, a, a freaking. He should go to the Big 12. He, you got to go to a coach who knows, and I'm not going to disrespect USC's coach because I'm not too familiar with him, but I'm telling you what a coach like Drew Scott's going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you what a coach like Bill Self would do. I'm telling you what a coach like Coach Calipari will do. I think, I think too, like, now with them go, USC going to the Big Ten, like, they're going to have to go play, like, Rutgers on, like, a Tuesday night and, like, the travel and stuff. Maybe that could be a factor, too. Yeah. You know, I, like, I mean, just flying out. Like, think about it. Like, you're on the West Coast, and you got to go play Penn State or then go play Rutgers or go play Maryland. Like you're going across the country in the middle of the week, and I'm not saying like that's a big deal for someone like Bronny, but it could be. Plot twist: He transfers to Ohio yeah. State University and lives the college basketball career his that, father actually, never had. That's, that I can see that. Actually, I'm just saying if he, if he's like screwed, if they're gonna go to the Big Ten, I'm gonna be at a school in the Big Ten that I actually have some family ties with. This is this is super interesting. So yeah, breaking news: Bronny entered the transfer portal. Uh, if you guys want more content on that, I'm sure we'll cover it on Opinionated Sports in some capacity. But yeah, I just thought I would break that on here because I saw that and I was like. Cam, where crazy. are you transferring to? 
Have you made your decision yet? Uh, no. I don't know. Where Should to... we get an inside scoop? If I were to transfer... The University of Booty Eating Union? Or the college of... <laughs> the college of respect, but... <laughs> The college of what? <laughs> I don't listen. There's no transfer portal for me because, you know, you get me, you get the full commitment, and wherever I go, we're gonna win, and that's it. That boy going to DCU, huh? No, 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 no. The Crib University, University of Phoenix online. Stop playing. Yeah, I go to University of Phoenix to get that dub, man. You know what I'm saying? Who are you gonna be playing? The Internet Warriors? ACC River Bats. Stop playing, man. We're gonna just get it off. All the community colleges. Shout out to community colleges, man. Shout out to community colleges for real. Camp said, Camp said, uh, Camp said. You, you be seeing those videos online real quick where like people run into inanimate objects and then the inanimate objects will come to life and they'll like, they'll be like, the wooden fence, Grand Canyon University. You haven't seen them? Oh, bro. Uh, it's so I, funny. I think I might have. People people run into like either a fence or a table and like you know the filter where you yeah. can put your eyes and the mouth on that on that inanimate object. Yeah. They'll be like, Boy thought he could run through me. Aye. <laughs> Wooden table. Grand Canyon University. Hey bro, it's funny. They do it like the NFL lineups. It's bro, I'm telling you. That is you, crazy, oh, it's bro. A, it's a lot of wholesome dumb content to, crazy to consume fuck. if you're just trying to decompress for like twenty minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Cam, you're a student again, right? You've been in courses. You've been in class, right? You're a student now at uh, at Austin Community College, correct? Correct, correct. I am. Okay. How long have you been there? Uh, so, on and off. And for you, you know, hate clowns in the background, I, I do have my degree. Thank you. Um, I'm going to continue to, Wait, you have to put the bro, because I don't want I don't want to see nobody talking about older friends in community college at 27. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, you can the people get, in the, the, people in the get, comments. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna clip us up, bro. You always a community college at 27. Oh, oh, degree. everyone has a podcast yeah, these days. Everyone can just go to Best Buy and buy equipment. Oh, I've seen it all, bro, on TikTok. So I'm just gonna tell you all, man. I'm attaining my CPA eligibility, so I needed to take two more classes. I have one right now that I'm finishing up, and then I'm taking another one in the oh. summer, and then I'll be CPA eligible. And then the plan is to obtain my CPA after that. And um, yeah, so I'm doing that right now. It's not the funnest, especially with trying to run a business. But yeah, just had to let y'all know, man, because y'all be trying to get slick in the in the comments with y'all's damn cat. Yeah, pin a real damn picture up, man. You're going to talk crazy. At least, yeah, yeah. at least show your face, bro. Like, He's calling. At least, man, man, and I'm going to get on there with my personal for real and just like, we can, you can get to smoke. Oh, uh, like, if you missed it, you we posted our very oh, first God. clip. We posted the Long John Silver's clip. Uh, talking about our loose booty moves. And there was a gentleman, shout out, I think his name was Dre, and he actually followed the page That's after cool. that interaction. So shout out to you, bro, for following us. I don't know if you're coming to the channel to watch the pods. We hope you are. Dre commented that having the dogs out on camera was crazy because if you don't know, Cam was barefoot the episode, which, hey, it's cool. You can do that. We're mm -hmm. in the comfort of your home. We're a cozy correct, pod. Correct. You don't have to come with an expectation of what you look like. I always come looking better than Cam every week. You don't see me talking about That's it. A lie. It's just something that naturally happened. So when Cam was in the comfort of his own home with his dogs out, That's he was lie. living his best life. He was enjoying <laughs> himself. I was. Everybody started commenting on this man's feet. They were waiting to get on you. They were waiting to to attack your character. They were. They were waiting to say, Cameron, put those old bunion feet up. And since then, Haters, I man. even got a text from Cam. It was the funniest part. I got a text from Cam. Cam says, yeah, bro, I hated that look for me. And I think Cam just had PTSD because Cam had to see his feet. Not it's always PTSD. cool. It's, it's just always cool like, when you when like when when you're recording. It just didn't look like professional. I didn't have PTSD. I was just like, man, I I could have wore some socks. What are you trying to be professional? I'm not trying here? to be professional. I'm just saying like this isn't an off topic. No, I know. I'm just saying like I just if you want to have your cackly feet out, have your. Cackly I was like, man, feet let me out. just put on some socks at least next time. Put but that was also due to the angle and us trying to shoot with three people. So you know, and I and I also had my leg up. That was also the first like. Technically, episode, so it was like super relaxed. You know, we were chilling, we're having a good time, yeah. and Cam's over here worried about the fact that his feet look like two. <laughs> my feet are my feet look good. Look like two golden Maltese's. My my feet look good. One like. So why were you getting? So back? I can put the dogs on. I can put the dogs on camera and be comfortable with them. Really. So I'm not like you know what I'm saying like I know I got you know I know oh I know my God. I know the quality bro, they were going of crazy on your feet. feet, bro. They were just they were going uh, crazy, bro. They were being disrespectful. People are just hating. I'm like, watch the clip, dumbass. Like, don't watch my feet. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know what we're talking about. Like, they're over here worried about the wrong. Shit. 
it's entertainment <laughs> they were purposes. They're like, oh my god, your feet. I'm like, bro, are you do you have no IQ? Like, we're literally watch the clip. You probably eat long drawn silvers. Did you see feet first? It's probably better than what you ordered from the menu. That's why you didn't watch the clip. Yeah, I'm just I'm just firing off today. Yeah. Yeah, stop playing, man. <laughs> Boomer they were saying that your feet look like those sardines again. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. Them things, them things literally have had, had skin on them. Exactly. Like scales. Nah, said that was your feet. nice and smooth, man. Like a baby's bottom. <laughs> Boy, Kev nice sent me the PTSD text. I hated that look for me. I can never do it again. <laughs> yeah, I just make sure I come prepared for the next episode. And, you know, since I was doing the oh, logistics of the camera, God, I was, it was nice and set up. I was good. Oh. I was like, all right, all right, we're good. We're rolling. The first thing we're Cam fired. did as I was setting everything up was he didn't he didn't he didn't grab anything to help set up. The very first thing he did, he did set up help set up, but before he helped set up, as soon as I got here and I started setting up, the very first thing Cam went to go do was to put on a pair of socks. And I found that <laughs> hilarious. I sure did. That boy, that boy saw me come in and thought he saw the Grim Reaper walk through the door. Man, he said, you know what I'm saying? I'll be just chilling at the crib, man. Like, I'll let, y'all let the feet, y'all let, y'all let the, y'all let the dogs breathe, man. That's why y'all's feet be, be crusty and smelly. Y'all let y'all's dogs breathe, man. Y'all let them breathe a little bit. You know, dogs will be dogs, Kev. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of, course, of course, of course, of course, of course. So, Steve, uh, what? I can't even see this shit. I need The reason I asked that. you about it is because your school, bro. Yeah. I have you... I would consider you a, I didn't know your GPA. So let's say for lack of better terms, I would consider you a very responsible, a very integrable, a very honorable student. Yeah, I was when on, it comes my, I was to on my shit. I was right? on my shit. I still am. Right? Obviously, you got your bachelor's yeah. degree. You're going out to get your CPA. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to appreciate Cam here for a moment, right? I know I know, I shit on him a lot, and that's okay. He but tries. But Cam is going to get a form of higher education so he could pursue a sustainable career that will satiate him until opinionated is his own full reckoning, right? Which you got to love it, man. We love a hardworking man, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But Cam, hardworking as you may be, I know you was getting your ass full back in the day by something. Me, I was never a math guy. Hated it. From day one, to be honest with you. And that's crazy because I work in finances now, not to your aspect, but in a aspect. Ooh, excuse me. And I don't I I don't like numbers. I can deal with them. Numbers make the world go round. Mm-hmm. They put money in people's pockets. Everything has to do with numbers. But math was stupid to me because it was like, what if? How is it stupid, though? What if this equals this, and how do you get math, there? Math, math has the most straightforward answer. No, it doesn't. Yes, it History does. has the most straightforward math, answer. Math has the st- most straightforward answer because there's only one answer. History is literally All recalling others, something that's already happened. Yes, that, but that's like... You're that's just, the straightforward answer. There's no yeah, such thing as the second I change nah, this nah, variable. Actually, that's not true. The second there's, I change why did this they variable, rewrite in textbooks. They rewrote the Bible a bunch of times. Like, oh, there's see, no, now here no, you go. No, on this, saying, look like, at you and your nothing, critical race theory. There's, yes. no, there's nothing. There's nothing that's concrete with math. It's literally a concrete. Cam, answer. If you're getting, if I give you this Cam, and this Cam, Cam, right, no, if I give Cam, you this and this, what is this? <laughs> What is this? Two? <laughs> that's a cell phone, okay. and that's a can. We're talking about two. That objects. is Stop. history. Now you're being specific. That is history. No, two, history two, says. No, history says the Civil War was a war fought in America. What was the Civil War? A war fought in America. Wow, that's so hard no, to remember. Th- look, one, what, when has history see, ever how, made you done an equation? How many fingers do I have up? Two. Oh, okay then. There's a concrete answer. There's no. There's no. There's no. Cam, there's no Cam, debating. Cam. There's no. You're different- doing simple math. I'm talking about solve for the square root of x when it's divided by a b equals ten. C, what is look, x? Exact- what is x? This is multiplication. Cam, you're what doing- a variable algebra. Cam, you're doing very basic algebraic equations. I am talking about once you start to get further. Because I you, feel like it is easier to be a historian than it is well, to yeah, be a, the math, math, a, a software. Advanced math that people like. The previous, it's a bunch of what ifs. No, it's not. People don't so under, what is it? People don't understand it because they're not in that field. If you're if you're an engineer. If people you're, don't understand it in that field. No, yes, they do, They bro. spend five years trying yes, to solve it, one problem if, so that one problem can find a solution to another problem to that's know, a part of it. You literally, have to know specific, you literally have to know specific math to do specific things. You can't make technology or things run without knowing specific equations. That stuff makes sense for them. For people like us that don't need math at a high level, then yes, it does. Some stuff doesn't make sense, but then to an engineer, to a doctor, to a chemist, to anyone in that to field, what doctor do you need to know the fucking algebra? Doc, doctors root of nine. To, doctors literally know math. 
They have to know math at a high level. Cam, they have biology. to know what tendon is gonna fix the other tendon. They still that have tears. to know math. Like, there's you don't you you can't. They're not calculating the angle at which my take, my you can't, has a, you can't become an engineer without trigonometry, all that stuff. Cam, you need that to Cam, make equation. I said a equation. doctor. I'm not okay. an engineer. Okay, but you're ba- but you're making the argument that math isn't is like there's no there's a more of a co- math is the most concrete answer because there is a right and a wrong answer. There's no like, well, if you did this, then it could be right. That's how it is in every other subject. No, it's not because yes, what is, is that in his- history? In math, there, if you pin it, history is fact. Reading and writing is also fact. So you math. either know when to use your comma and when to use your period. Because if you don't use That's that comma, rhetoric. you got to run off. It's all rhetoric. Why, it's there's, easy. There's literally slang, See, for word sparring champs it, like myself who know how to communicate, English. that English ain't nothing because we know how to there's talk. There's literally slang in we English. We know how to bring that word. There's literally slang in English. Like, you can't... English is... So what does that have the, to do English with... English is one of the hardest languages to learn in the world, by I'm the way. I'm talking about English language arts, not learning this, okay. the, 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 the fucking... What, what, the, God, God! They're, they're, does, that stuff doesn't just because I'm not talking about learning English. I'm talking about English language arts. That is that that's simple. You're writing, bro. You're literally writing. Yes. You're doing you're what you're naturally answering a question. You're doing what you via nat- data, and there's a concrete answer. It's not like, oh, this is five. Cam, what's no. the first thing you lo- what's the first thing you learn to do when you're born? Aside from walking and eat and all that. Speak. Well, yes. Okay. So what is that's that composed of as an American? You learn English, you learn writing, you learn English language arts so you can expand your communications and understanding words. You literally words. have to know how to count. You have to know how to like, you need to know numbers. Like you need to know how to calculate stuff on a calculator. You need to know like. That's oh, what the calculator is uh, for. You scamming ass. That's what the calculator is for. Oh, like, hey, okay. Is that not a concrete answer? Is that not math? Is that not? It a does lo- the math for you. Correct. If you, I get a TX, you need to know what you're doing. If, if so, I get a TI, if I, told, if I told someone I didn't know what math what they're doing is like, hey bro, you owe me sixty five dollars, and they're like, oh, I have eighty five dollars in my bank account, and it's like, okay, give me sixty five dollars. They're like, what do I do? Like, bro, if one, if someone told me that, I'd be like, I would probably slap them that too. Boy, that boy said dollars, like we were, like it was the Chinese I, back from the I, South I Park, bro. To them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boy said nah, dollars. Like, so at the end of the day, it's like <laughs> they're not gonna know what to do because then say they send me sixty five dollars, they're gonna be like, oh man, I only have twenty five dollars in my account. What'd you do to me? I'm like, bro, you owe me money, so we subtracted from your bank account. No, no, no. Like he's like, no, I did it, and it was, uh, you know, sixty five plus eighty five. What is that? Uh, quick math. That's like one fifty. So it's like. Stop playing with me. I, I I'm don't really that guy. I, I don't know because I don't do math. Stop playing with me. Anyways, anyways, all I'm saying is, he's like, oh, well, I need one fifty in my account. Uh, he's like, I should have one fifty in my account. I was like, no, you owe me sixty five dollars. He's like, yeah, so I should have one fifty. Like, if someone told me that, bro, I'd be like, if somebody told you that, they're stupid. No, that's a that's like a. True- what I am telling you is that if I told you, Cam, what year did nine eleven happen? That year is never going to change. That is a fact. That is set in stone. And, no, and how many years ago was that? That's not going to change either. Uh, that From is the, also for, a historical fact, Cam. No, it's math. That's a fact. It's, it's history. Also, is that not math? That is history. Is that not math? Is that not history? Is that not math? Is that not Two, history? 2024 Look, oh my goodness. minus 2001. Cam. How many years is that? Cam. How old is Colin? Oh, 20, about to be 23. Okay. Cam. All right. See, well, now you're doing math to get to something that you couldn't No, just, I'm you telling don't have, you. I don't have to do math. Math is a... Math I, is a... I don't know. I don't, is a I don't have to do math. Answer, I don't have to do math to know that Joe Biden's our president and before Joe Biden it was Barack and before Barack, it was Donald Trump. Wow. Before Donald Trump, it was Barack. Yeah. And how many before years? Barack, it was George W. And how many years? Don't need to know as long as I knew that they were our president. Hey, yo, because that's facts. You know, Matt, you, you literally are wrong. Like, math is a is a factual thing. It's a correct answer. It's a math no, is a what if thing because no, what if no, it's this not. what if this equals this like you have to think, bro. In in a, in a in a field of subject, what if the, did the field, Egyptians build the pyramids? That's a what if right what there. If uh, what if have you seen the Great Wall of China? Have you walked across it? Is it as long as it is? That is a what if. Oh, but it's Cam. measured Cam. this many Cam. miles, and you know what they Cam. did to measure it? You, you know how stupid. Oh my gosh! Cam. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they use math to measure. Oh, but how guess tall what? is Eiffel Tower? Is that, still, is that facts or history? That's still up. That's both. No, no. Is that, you just said is that facts or history? That's my, my point. Bad, my bad. Do Look they measure? At you. Look, do you're they folding. Measure? Do they he's me- folding. Do they he's measure? Folding. No, you're he's getting, folding. You're really he's getting like, cooked alive. No, you're getting. You're folding. Did they measure it? Did they? Did they what? Did they what? I'm asking you. Do they measure that shit? Yes or no? Of course. Of course they measure it. Okay. And what is that? Math, <laughs> but guess what? At the end of the day, you got to what is that? What exact is, answer? Okay, okay, but what did you have to do? You had to calculate it, right? You know what? You don't have to oh, calculate. Oh, you had to calculate it. That's math, bro. Again, 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 right? They had to calculate it. You know what? You don't have to do with history. Calculate anything, because guess what? At the end of the day, 
You know, the year that Barack Obama became president was the year Barack Obama became president. You know, the year a car was invented was the year the car was invented. Anyways, what was your worst subject? Math? I can tell you're a math hater. You're an op. You weren't getting those stars in. Uh, you weren't getting to those little speed testing at your little star words when it was like you go to the cafeteria and you would have to go crazy. You what? weren't doing that. Oh, you, me? And I know you weren't no. I were And I know since you like English and shit, you still weren't no AR reader either. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you crazy. You weren't like me. I had more. See, me, I, so a person like me was finessing. I would I, grab a Junie B. Jones book and I would put that on the computer and I'd literally guess. Man, stop playing this with me. This man was in a sixth grade reading two great books, bro. What are we talking about here? Bro, stop playing. This I, man was literally. I had the most AR you Reading, you grade. were reading when you give a mouse a cookie at the age of 13. You're reading uh, Toad and Frog. Yeah. It's actually Frog and Toad because F comes before T, stupid. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Okay, imagine okay, that, right? Okay. I was sitting you know here reading, like? I was sitting like here that, reading uh, Harry Potter and Lemony Snicket. You, know, you remember David from that book, that badass kid? He was like bald. Yes. You look like. <laughs> Why are you always trying to do me on this podcast? <laughs> you look like Franklin. What are we talking about here? You look like Sheen from You look like Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. No. yeah you look like Libby from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. That's crazy. You know who you look like? Uh, La Cienica's dad from the Proud. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, shut up, Token. <laughs> oh, oh, you look like La Cienica's dad, bro. I'm crying. Oh my god! I told this man. I asked this man, Cam. We were at Zach's the other week. I asked oh this man, Cam. I said, Cam. I said, Do you think? I, I think I asked Zach first, and Cam was right there. And I asked it loud enough, obviously, so Cam could hear us. And I think I said it to Cam too. I said, Cam. Would you be like the token of our group? Bro, but that's a crazy question because our group is full <laughs> of minorities. Thing, but no, but I was just saying it like that. I was more so saying because in South Park, the reason, the only reason they call token token is because he's the only black guy in the friend group. Yes, token black. Yes, but in that sense, like, it's not necessarily a bad thing because if you look at opinionated, like, we're completely scattered in terms of our ethnicities, but... Yeah, it's mainly Hispanic-dominated. I'm going to have to get some... It really is. I mean... Three of us. You, Bert... Carlos came in his half. JG, CJ, Zay, CJ's half. Oh, it's yeah. like mainly Hispanic. Yeah, boy, I tell you what, we yeah. take <laughs> Opie and Primo take over, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, you might have to watch out for us. We might, yeah, man. We might, we might hang the Mexican flag from this bitch. Man, man. And the Puerto Rican flag. Oh, but you're goodness. Dominican, so it's okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me Dominican and black had a Negro theory. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Stop playing with the boy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ron Okuna, man. Look at the Braves, man. That's my that's my brother, literally. <laughs> He's I got not your brother. The other day. He's he just told me about some deal he signed, and I was like, damn. And I saw it on my IG. I was like, so why can't he lob opinionated anything? No, nah, we were actually talking, man. We were trying to get some hats made, and um, I was also talking to him about getting us some tickets to the game. So I was like, all right, all right, let well, me Well, you know. let me know when Akuna says those yeah, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah, he, he, just a... said, he just said he's locked in right now. He said he's dialed. So I was like, all right, bro. Kim, so I'm assuming based off your earlier conversation, you're not really a big reading or language arts kind of guy, are you? No, I like reading. I do, a lot. So what was the subject did for you? What, what was it that really, uh, that honestly, really did Honestly, I really was not... I was really good at math until, like, it became... Until I got to high school, and then I was having to retake tests and shit all the time. And you're over here defending math. No, well, I was that AP math class, was your bro, biggest. The hardest op. class I ever took was algebra, pre AP algebra two. But Mr. Lawrence, shout out Mr. Lawrence, man, uh, Fluky Real, bro. He used to work with my dad, so like, I felt like he was just like extra hard, bro. That class was hard as hell. I like, I like, you know, when you had to get waivers and shit to play. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I, like I never had to do that, and like I was stressing because I just got moved up to varsity and I had to get a waiver, bro. I barely had a sixty to get the waiver, bro. Because you needed a 60 to get the waiver. Because the waiver for waiver for pre-AP classes was like an extra 10 points added onto your grade. So technically you had a 60, but with the waiver, it was like you had a 70. So you were eligible to play. And I barely had that shit, bro, to pass. So fun fact. But I would say it was math in high school. And then towards college, I like, it became college. I hated, I hated writing papers in college. The worst shit ever. That's the worst thing ever. I took a coding class my junior year instead of a math credit because I could. And it was... Probably my favorite math class I took ever because it was programming. And the guy next to me, God bless him. I don't remember this gentleman's name. He was a great above me. That dude looked out for me, I swear to God, every 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 B block day. Cause that man would sit there and tell me the code for what I needed to put in to get passing assignments on my class and test. Like it, like taking a test and during the grades. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm just now admitting that I'm cheating. But I mean, hey. I mean, who didn't cheat, bro? Uh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. That's Look, that's what I've heard. But there's only so many instances Besides that can apply. Astros. <laughs> oh, or relationships. It is baseball season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that too. <laughs> he said, yeah, that too. But he um he gave me the sauce every single class. And that, and I, I I don't even remember the dude's name. But he was just so dope. He was, yeah, man, I got you. That was me and econ, bro. Like, I got my econ minor. Which a lot of people don't know that. That's why when it comes to. Is economics. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But 
Anyways. This guy used to like hook it up with the with the answers because econ had a lot of reading and stuff. And I was, you know, I like reading, but you know when you're in college, bro. Like, you know what we were trying to do? We were just trying to get lit, man. We were just trying to go outside and, you know, get some purple f- from the roadhouse. Shout out to Roadhouse in Durango. No free shout outs. And um also, you know, we just trying to get lit with the boys, man. Have a good time, man. That's what we were on, man. The you know boys what I'm saying? Get lit with the boys. So, you know, so like, yeah, it's like you got a kid that was, you know, willing to give you the answers. That's what you did. And everyone would send it around and we'd have a grand old day. And the crazy thing was because we were on computers for the entire class, he would literally give me the answers and then everybody would get on Bloons Tower Defense. And that would be the That's crazy. <laughs> when I tell you it was amazing, we'd either be running Bloons Tower Defense or some multiplayer game that everybody would log into in the class. It was so crazy. Our teacher had no idea. <laughs> Bless her heart. She was an bro, amazing I remember woman. In college, bro. But we were literally running like we were running the streets it was bad i remember in college bro shout out the boy drake cortez man this man literally would be i had a couple classes with him even though we were different majors like towards the end of college bro this man would literally be in class and would be watching film bro on his laptop it was not be a genius dude's valedictorian yeah but literally would just be watching film and then look up at the at the and then like know what he was doing take tests get a's but this man would be watching film bro in class and I'd be like looking at over his computer and his man Dre's is watching film, bro. Did you ever fear of being one of those kids in school that like that like the teacher didn't think you were paying attention? Or maybe you weren't, but they had randomly call your name and they'd want you to solve the problem. Solving the problem was worse when you have to go up to the board and like yeah, actually yeah, yeah, have yeah, to yeah. do it. That was worse. And like, then they give you that expo marker. The expo marker really doesn't have a lot of ink in it. So bro, you're trying to sit the there and scribble hey, that shit on When the you're f- out there and you're like writing and you're like halfway through it and then it dies and then you like throw it and then she's like, oh, I got another one. And they throw it and then that one doesn't work. But I prefer that over the chalkboard. Sometimes you got that chalkboard and you're like trying to go crazy. It's like, you know, like, hey, bro, I would start beating tomorrow. You know, like that you hear people writing on chalkboard. But um definitely popcorn was not like something i was opposed to because i felt like i was oh, a, be, oh bro, I, like I was a great reader I told I, and nah. my speech it, skills were yeah, good when it came to being popcorn so that was pretty that was pretty but i would no offense to those those kids but when they had popcorn or somebody that read slow bro the, oh my the the, the, the red, red and you're like falling that shit with your finger <laughs> bro taking five red. minutes to read a page oh my goodness bro I, call someone I, else <laughs> The teachers do too. That was the worst, bro. Part it's like it. you're not helping him. You're not helping the class, bro. You're just wasting everyone's time. Call someone else, please. You're not building any character, please, here. bro. Or like when they call I get, someone, I get you're trying to help him do public speaking and maybe to help him be a better speaker. Which for me personally, <laughs> right, that was the worst, bro. Because this, this this stuff happens all the time in my job, man. Is when like you're in a you're in like a group meeting and they like ask everyone like a general question and like nobody's talks and like everyone's on Zoom. Hey, those team meetings are crazy, and they're like. Those team I'll pick on crazy. someone like we're in class. Yeah. And I'm and then someone will speak up. But what's funny is like when you're in class and like a teacher would ask a question and nobody would answer. At all. She's like, well, I guess y'all just y'all just unfamiliar with the subject. And I just Yeah. It's just this is like, I don't know. Some people that definitely became You which, know what make that situation worse too? Well, nobody ahead. talks and then somebody laughs. <laughs> and then everybody, yeah, everybody's screwed. Or somebody would volunteer. You know what's crazy? People would volunteer all the time growing up, but as you got older, like in college. You just didn't like nobody did. Even smart kids for like, reading or answering just questions. like anything. Like oh, more like discussions, like lecture. Look, like when people would, like when the professors would lecture, then they'd be like, "Oh, do you want to?" Or like, "So, what do y'all think about this?" It took or me, did y'all read? What did y'all think about the chapter? It took me one introduction to speech class my freshman year of college that made me realize I was like that. Like I was like that. I was like literally, and I never had a problem. Like in class, never had a problem. I was always an outgoing guy. All things considered. Man, fuck that. Class. I was always an I outgoing. I was always an outgoing guy. So Man, I was to me, there to get my money. So and leave. look, I'm telling you like this. When it came to plays or performances or answering questions or reading or it took, bro, it took, it took, it took one. Shout out to Dr. Alexander from Sagu, my dog. One introduction to public speech class for me to realize, huh? I'm really like that when it comes to this reading stuff. I have great presentation of words. And then I had a lady, God bless her heart, with my job. I was training to get my first certification. And she's like, wow, Steve, you have such a radio voice. And I said, you know what, bro, don't let me get too active. I'm not, I'm just saying. I'm just, look, so for me, uh, come on, bro. I never had a problem. I'll get on this mic right now and give you the hottest 16 known to man. But I also get in this mic and give you the hardest motivational speech you've ever heard. But I could also get in this mic and talk crazy. If you're I could also get in this mic and praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Please call 800 666 7964. Hey, look, you think I'm playing? 
in this corner. Coming in at 165 pounds, based out of Vallejo, California. Like, I, bro, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it all. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, people, that's just more of a confidence thing, that, though. Because that, more people like. It's it's more so as long as you're comfortable within that like public speaking. It's a confidence thing. I guess so. Yeah, you have you know a point. What I'm saying? Yeah, it's just weird because like I always feel bad for those kids that would get popcorn, and you know I felt like the te- it, we'd be in this thing like six months. Bro, you'd be reading, you know you'd, my boy cannot read you'd be as reading well to kill a mockingbird for the you whole know year. my man got this <laughs> the whole school year. You know my man got dyslexia. We're still on Patreon to read a mockingbird. This is month six. Because homeboy trying to get over the fourth sentence. Bro, it's the worst, man. Lady, what are we doing? It's the worst. Bro, it's terrible. I, hope, I wonder if I hope they've changed that in school. A I, you know, I hope they do. Well, too. they're on iPads and shit now. So Ooh, boy, I tell you what, I poof, I was Yeah, some tablet babies, huh? Yeah. See, back in my day, we had a hard cover, we had a paperback, we had textbooks. Right, these kids are spoiled, right? We got those clickers towards late and like the oh. math class. Remember the overhead projectors? Them shits were fire hazards for real. Oh, you talk about when they would roll that thing in the middle of the classroom, they yes, click it on, bro. you just hear. And they used to and they used to put it on the screen and they used to the, the, the teacher's hand. You know, you know, you know it's you know it's even worse when teachers just have bad handwriting. It's like, bro, how are we supposed to learn? We can't how are even, you an educator? We can't even read what's on the thing. You know, that's the thing I'd always ask myself because I really did get lucky to have some good teachers. But some of them I used to be like, Where are y'all getting these folks from? How did you validate their background? Have you seen their calligraphy? <laughs> bro, I'm thinking, it's, I, bro, my little five-year-old self was like, <laughs> have you seen their calligraphy? Bro, I'm thinking of when, you know, you before mechanical pencils really came out, bro, I have so many. This is like going to become like a school rant. But I used to, bro, I used to get up and like, you know, when people would get up and sharpen a pencil, it would be dead ass quiet in the room. <laughs> and just, <laughs> you know, it was the worst. And then, and then, bro, and then the person can't get, and they're sharpening it multiple times, bro. And they're pinning it in there like seven times. The pencil is like long, pause, like no ditty, like super long. And then they like, and then once they take it out, it's like condensed. And the shit is like damn near the, 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 the wood and the metal piece. Bro, that is the worst thing ever. And then like when you would have a pit. When you would have regular pencils, bro, and people would be like, oh, can I borrow a pencil? You know you weren't getting that back. You know you were not getting that back, bro. <laughs> you had and then you used to bring the lead out. They'd be like, can I borrow some lead? <laughs> people would come to school with a pencil with no lead, bro. Like, they think that you're just going to have this lead and just be like, oh, can I have a piece of lead? Like, bro, like it's gas, bro. Like, what are we doing? Like, who comes to school with a pencil you with could, no lead? You could that never, bro, on the first day oh of school, God. you had to be careful, bro. Folks knew you were organized, dog, and it started to get into those later months. Hey, you open up you that really, box. You open up that fresh, bro. You had to be real careful. You had to start reaching into your bag to grab stuff because the second you bring it out, you had three people. Hey, bro, you got to. the worst pencils, bro. I beat, bro, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real. Bro, like you're not getting this Tacondra 2.0. <laughs> what are we talking about? You're not getting this G. You're not getting this G7 o, or this G20.7 pin. You're not getting that, bro. The you're seven, not getting this uh, seven five this big, ball point. This big 0.7 yeah, millimeter bro. mechanical pencil yeah, with bro. the sparkles. You're not getting that. Like, what are we talking about? You don't get that a 0.5 letter that breaks every time you try to write a letter. That's what you're getting. <laughs> Bro, the worst, and then you're like, it's like, and then you, you make me write two more words. And you just keep writing, bro. The worst. I don't you even know why be, they made that. You had to that be careful, bro. This second day we zero point nine looked like you're literally writing in crayon, bro. I had to organize. I remember, bro. I had to organize all my stuff before, like my first, like when I remember back to school shopping tax free weekend. Like they used to back, and this is back in the gap. So all you, all you young boys and young girls, this is what we had to do. What they would do is they would set up the grocery list per school of what you needed for each class. So you walk into Walmart. Walmart would have like a like shelves, and in each individual shelf would be like what Flugerville Elementary needed, or what Parkcrest needed, or what Windermere Timmerman needed. And so you would grab your sheet. That way you can kind of have a basis. And then your teacher would always send you this too. But it was nice because Walmart used to take care of us. And it was funny because I knew going in there, I had to carefully and diligently organize all my utensils because I knew that ultimately, if I if I made one single mistake, bro. I would lose at least six to seven, like two good highlighters, a great marker, two of my finest pens, two of my finest pencils to the streets within a matter of months, bro, never to be seen again. And if I ever get them back, they don't come back the same way they left, bro. They come back with PTSD. My marker's dry. My pencil's been been rung through a mechanical sharpener, not even an automatic sharpener, a mechanical sharpener. Mm. You remember the mechanical ones? Yeah. You twisted it by hand and it fucked up your pencil oh, really? and you never... Yeah, okay. No diddy. <laughs> like, I just, bro, it, 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 they, 
were savages out there, bro. Savages. They took my bags and they never gave it back. <laughs> That's why I never was mad at people whenever they started talking about why, like, school post-graduation-wise wasn't for them. Because I get it. Like, it takes a certain level of organization and time management to be an effective college student. Nah, right? for real. And to be able to... You're by yourself, too. A lot of times... You don't you're have like your parents. Far away. Like, I was 14 hours away, bro. Like, and I, I was just... I was, I was three. Yeah. And I was still like, whoa. Yeah, I couldn't just go home, bro. Like, it, ever. Like, I had to... I literally had to wait to the hall. You had a plan. Yeah. You had to legit... And then even so, like, during the fall, you're done. During the mm -hmm. spring, you could maybe swing a weekend depending on when you leave and how your mm -hmm. classes are set up. Mm -hmm. For me, it was a little bit easier. But even so, ooh, ooh. <laughs> even so, like for me, like, like I was three hours and I still, I like depending on how the schedule. Like during fall, forget about it, GGS. Mm -hmm. But like in the spring, a lot easier, three hours, right? Mm -hmm. So I could get out of class, head home if I wanted to go. For you, look, bro, you got to organize everything. You got to see, can you know, it's fourteen hours there. It's 14 hours back. Can I afford that? Can I afford to miss this class if I do that? Or can I leave it this time and then come back? Like, that's just, just, so I get it. I get it. Y'all folks was out here still Let alone playing sports with it. <laughs> Bro, y'all folks was out here still in freaking Tacondra, uh seven millimeter pencils. Mm -hmm. There's no way you're going to keep organized with the schedule that college presents. Mm -hmm. So I get it. I get it. Things happen, right? Things mm -hmm. translate. Mm -hmm. You went from stealing my crowns to poor time management. It's understandable. Yeah, facts. Get your money up kid you feel me mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit yeah there's a game i want to play with you bro i want to i want to i know i know i know we've been a little active but there is yeah. there is one game i wanted to play with you talk to uh me. before we close this off today yeah, and i saw it me. because of our good friend colin cowherd for those of you who don't know if you're casual my guy. colin cowherd is a very popular sports analyst and journalist he's 50 50 with his takes yeah he's very like against the grain but he's also like he'll own it and he's also just which is why you like him because like if he's, he if he's gonna he's die if he's gonna die on his hill he's gonna die on his yeah. hill yeah and he's not gonna he'll apologize for being wrong but he'll stand firm in his oh, oh my god he'll stand firm in his in his perspective backwards hat guy so Cam <laughs> as you know the last time we played a game on here you and CJ got cooked in the latter two rounds just absolutely demolished I, I sat there it. I don't know about that I one. sat there I mean, how, it wasn't I fair. sat there and made y'all look know. like mince me that's what blindly rank is okay. that's what blindly okay, rank okay, is okay 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 but okay. that's that's how the game goes so now <clears throat> Mr. Cowherd presented a game right and in this game it's apparently a popular TikTok trend but I thought ah, screw TikTok let 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 Cameroon take it on let's see what they can bring to the table in this trend right I'm gonna give you a category and countdown from three Okay, talk to me. Five different questions, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, I could say, name an album by Kanye West. Three, two, one. Graduation. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Okay. Boom. Okay. Is that was is that a trial? That was a trial. Okay, got you. We're gonna do that five times. Okay, I like this. But we're gonna do best two out of three. Okay, I like that. So. Like I'm that. the challenger, okay, or I'm the I'm I'm the champion, quote unquote. So you're trying to avoid getting the same answer. You got as that me. BMF title, just made up shit. But go ahead. You're, <laughs> you've always been an interim champion, ass MF, trying to play anyways, me right now. Anyways, you have five guesses. Okay. If you could get all the way to question five without matching my answer, you win. Okay. Best two out of three. Okay. So, if you lose. Mm. You got a shotgun. Something. A neutral? It could be a neutral. You got some happy dad death rows. Shout out the there. boys, man. You got you got something going. Okay. You're gonna shotgun one on camera. Okay. I'll bring the camera. We'll take the camera off of that. If I lose, so what if you lose? You gotta do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't bad, like bad, shotgun. Bad, bad. It's actually one of the whoa, worst whoa, things. So what are you going to do then? I don't like shotgunning. So I'm oh, going okay. to actually do you, something I don't like. Okay, I got you. You know Correct. what I mean? Yeah, I don't like it really either. That's exactly. It, I'm not, I'd like, rather, it just makes me bloated. I'd rather just chug a beer or something. That's like preferably, but I'll shotgun. You want, if you want to Stone Cold Steve Austin it, you can. Yeah, maybe hit the choke, but you're ready. You have a chug butt here? I do. I got to find it. I think it's in the I think it's in the, the liquor cabinet. If we can find the chug bud, we'll make Cam chug bud. If we can't find the chug bud, we make Cam chug. Because I'm not going to lose. Cam, okay. I'm going to give you three different categories. Talk to me. First one we are going to start with is going to be music. More specifically, 
albums, mixtapes, and projects overall. Okay. Right? So you don't have to think of anything in particular, so to speak. Okay. But we're going to use the broad genre of music. Well, how, well, hold on real quick. How are we going to... You said best two out of three. Who rates that? So your goal, because I'm challenging you, uh-huh. is to avoid getting the, the same, same as answer you. as me. Okay. So let's say you make it the you. question three. Yeah. And we guess the same thing. You lose that round. I got you. Okay. Automatically. You lose the entire okay. round. I thought it was so like that's just my point. judged off of what we said. No. I got you now. I got you. Yeah. So because okay. I'm the quote unquote champion, right? Mm-hmm. I'm the one that's dictating the terms. Mm-hmm. Your goal is to get to through question five without getting the same answer as me. Okay. My goal is hopefully you guess the same as me so that w- you lose, right? Yeah. And we're doing best two out of three. Okay. So the first category is musical projects. Okay. Right? And so I'll grab something from different artists. Guess the blah, blah, blah. And then second category will be sports teams. Okay. Right? Third category is going to be clothing. Okay. Very broad, very generic, I know. But mm-hmm. there's a purpose and a plan. Cameron. Okay. Talk to me. Question number one. Guess. Or I said guess. Name a collaboration song that took place. With Drake and Rick Ross as two of the main artists. Okay. Three, two, one. Stay Asimari scheming. Mu- music. Okay. All right. That's some Martin music, okay. if y'all can hear that. Okay. Question number two. Name a Playboy Cardi project. Okay. Three, two, one. Playboy Dialogue. Cardi. Damn it, I was going to say. I, I, knew you were, I knew you were. I, yeah, that was a tough 50 50. I was going to say that. I was going to say Play Boy Cardi, but then I was like, Ooh. but I like I knew you I would probably say that. Okay. Look at this. Question you know, number three. Question chance. number three. Well, two more chances, I guess. Name a song off of the album The Highs by the artist Mike. Okay. Three, two, one, gang. Two birds. God. Okay. I almost said gang. <laughs> I almost said. Question number four. Name a rapper who dropped an album in the 90s. Okay. Three, two, one. Jay-Z. Tupac. Mm. Question number five. Name a collaboration album between two big artists that, have, that has taken place in the 21st century. I'm ready. Three. Two, one. Watch the throne. Nah, uh, nah, 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 yeah, nah, 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 one Stinkonia. Love below. Ah, okay. Round one goes <laughs> to Cam. So you get the gist of it, right? Yeah. Try not to guess the same thing I'm guessing. I'm cooking you, bro. Round one does go to you. If you win, <laughs> if you win round two, you know what that is, right? That's game. I lose. I got to chug, bud. Okay. Round two, I said, was going to be sports related. Okay. We're going to go across all sports. Okay. Right, so I may throw something crazy in there that you may not have an idea of. So you're gonna have to really get in your bag, okay, and see what can you think of, okay, Cam. Name a baseball player, okay, that has played on the New York Yankees in the last 24 years, okay. Three, two. One, Marcus Gianna Carlos Stadden. Damn it. <laughs> he just got there, too. He did, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Question number two. Name a offensive player of the year in the NFL in the last 10 years. Okay. Three, two, one. Justin Cooper Jefferson. Cup. <laughs> Question number three. Name, as of this recent year, a Big 12 university. 
Okay. This recent year. Okay. Three, two, one. UCF. Baylor. What would I say, Baylor? Are we Are we serious? No. <laughs> Question number four. Okay. Name a Heisman winner in the last 10 years. Okay. Three, two, one. Baker Devontae Mayfield. Smith. God damn it. <laughs> this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. <laughs> okay. We got, we got one more. Okay, okay, okay. You're ready to learn Chug Bud, buddy. Question number five, and for all the marbles. Name a player on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay. Three, two, one. Josh Giddy. <laughs> yeah, it's easy, man. It's easy. Oh. It's really easy. <laughs> I almost said him, too. I really well, did. The crazy thing is I was like, he's not going to say shy. He's not going to say Pete, like, like J-Dub. He's going to say either Lou Dort or Josh Giddy. So let me go with it. Let me, let me try. Let me get as close to the bag as I can. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's that. Damn. You ready to do this? What, 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 so, okay, so we not, if we don't have a chug, bud, then I got to chug it, right? Yeah, that's fine. We can okay, just do that. that's easier. Okay. Well, this is almost done. Yeah, we get we get you one. So we're gonna load up real quick. Oh wow, my thing just fell in here. I think I'm gonna die of lead there. poisoning. What's well, okay? There's still more drinking here oh, okay. that I want to finish. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna cut right to a quick commercial break. Audio listeners, if you're listening, I really suggest that this part you go you go watch YouTube, even if it's for the last five to ten minutes. I gotta pay my dues. I lost, and now because I lost, I gotta pay the tithe. I gotta pay what's owed. Cam, GG's, great competition, sir. I appreciate the work. We'll be right back to you. We're going to try to see what can happen, y'all. Hey, I don't know. I just, uh, I didn't think Cam was built like that. Cam's typically not the competitive type. He won't even play me in a game of Madden because he's scared. All right, Cam, what are you looking for me in this? I this man, my dude, this is your, this is your. This man's taking off a shirt and a jacket. So. Hey, whoa, hey, 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 what up though? You feel me? I can't, I can't, I can't get, I can't get the Detroit Red Wings, forty-seven sweater dirty. You feel me? This yeah. is. Oh, we need to get that going. I'm starting to start to smell. <laughs> you said what? I'm starting to start to smell in there. Should have been through those away. What? The sardines are starting to smell in there. Oh, really? Like, yeah, I can smell them from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely smell them. Oh yeah. 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 So. It smells like Cameron's upper lip whenever he wakes Stop up in the morning. Playing. All right, Cam, look, man. All right, I took I took the freaking sweater off. Tell me your terms and conditions for my consequence. Um, just just uh, we're gonna keep it light. Um, just chuck that ninety calories. That's just pretty healthy. Um, two carbs too. Yeah, but we're just gonna have a, a Steve uh, chug a, a nectar on camera and uh, shout out to the boys under the influence podcast. Uh, nectar, no weird aftertaste. Shout out to the boys, man. They always show us love. So, uh, yeah, Steve's gonna. Sh- uh, ch- Chug this, and I'm going to time him, and then that'll just be for, you know, purposes. Nah. What do you want me to get under? Because if I get under uh, that. Let's, I wonder what's If like I get under that, you got to chug one. Mm, Since you want to try to bend damn, my over. What, what, what? I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to say. You're just letting a cold beverage shit now, see? It's going to. Over 15 warmer. seconds. You're taking the over on 15? Yeah. I'm going to need you to show me the timer so I can see this. You want me? You gonna be looking at it as you as I'm, or you want me to just do it? I just need to see you starting. All right. You said fifteen. Yeah. One, two, three. That's why. <laughs> that was a terrible bit. That carbonation. Oh yeah, I'm definitely hitting parlay. <sighs> I'm halfway through. <laughs> <sighs> I should have took that over on 30. Uh, he, might, he might have won. <laughs> <laughs> this is a clip in itself. We love the content over here. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not really characteristic of it. It's fine. Oh. No, it's normal. That's what it does. Uh, That's what it does. That's what it does. Oh, my God. The U.S. needs to make this a form of torture. 
Oh, this is not fun. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. What what are we at time wise? You almost had a minute, my boy. <laughs> I was about to send a text in between. Ah, you might have got that off. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable right now. It's okay. I just got documentation now. You ever say you're professional? I never said I was with shotgunning. I'm, I'm, I have never claimed I was with shotgunning. Don't you put that on my body. I'm, I'm gonna clip, don't you put that I'm on my clip, body. I'm for sure clipping this. Oh, you got to. But don't don't you put that on my body. I said I'll take yeah. more shots than you, which I can. No, you can. Which I can. Absolutely no, can. can. No, I put you, you in the dirt before with that. No, so we're not even gonna we're not even before, gonna talk about no, that. You haven't. Absolutely. You, you can't absolutely bro. You told really, Cam, I told Cam to get a better body. You can't drink you can't drink out drink me, bro. It's fine. It's okay. I'm just telling you. Miss Cat had you going to sleep in Broken Bow. We was up there getting active. I was tired. That's the difference between being. I was, being I was, I was tired. Bro, we always bet at the same I would, time. I was tired. No, we did not. Yes, we did. No, we did not. You can ask, you can ask Salon. There's you no reason ask, to. You can ask, you can ask CJ. You can. Ask, you didn't drive back. Yeah, I was tired. Exactly. Man. So it's excuses. We had to get up. It's taking you. You two had minutes. to get up just so you could get right back down in that passenger seat of that minutes. car. Come on. That's fine, bro. This hurts. Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Are you done? Mm mm. All right, hold up. I think I think it'll be done in this last one, bro. I am not the. Mm. Two minutes, 23 seconds. God, bro. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. And jingle with a challenge of our rivals. In the last, no survivors start to thrill the fight. And he's watching us all with the eye. You like that meme of that guy on Twitter? Of the tiger. Spraying the bottle and, the, and stuff of the metal. And then they show the rest of the field and you're at the bottom. From that, from the time on that, it's okay. Um, congrats to Steve for losing, and then also, um, I don't, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, if you guys like this episode of When to Say When, be sure to like, comment, uh, and subscribe. I am so sorry, y'all. I'll say that again for you audio listeners. If you guys are are new to When to Say Ooh. When, you like the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. That was a super fun episode, super engaging. Um, and I'm gonna let Steve hit the emoji. What is the emoji of this week for? Uh, our, our, our top tier listeners. Our top tier listeners. If you're a top tier listener and you're putting an emoji in our comments, and I'm waiting to see who the first, because you know I see it all, right? We see it all. Mm. I'm going to see who's going to be the first person to actually put an emoji in these comments, because somebody is. I'm going to see it. But the emoji for this week, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put, we're going to put an elephant. Elephant? You know why? Cause I ain't give a piss about nothing but the tide. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> nothing but the tide. Hey, and that's been on my mind. I got this LSU on, man. Oh, that is crazy. I didn't even realize. Now, you know, that's LSU, though. They're just my, my sister is going. You there. know what's crazy? Fun fact about Cam here, right before we get off the air. Cam is a fan of three SEC schools. I'll be damned, right? Ladies and gentlemen, showing you a lot of love. Thanks, guys, for joining us for another high energy exciting episode of your favorite knuckleheads over here at opinionated media it's been your boy rue i'm with the raw dog man himself cam right and we <laughs> want to let you know that we love you we thank you for joining us today whether you're listening to audio or watching this on the tube and i ain't talking about that tube get your head out the gutter and we hope you have a great rest of your evening morning or day make it a good one remember cam you can't keep your head up if you're looking down you did That'll do it for another episode of When to Say When. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next week for the next episode. Peace. <laughs> Crazy.